Hey everybody, well it's Maya Modeling Time and today we're going to do a request video. I received a request to do a wire basket, right? And it sounds uh, kind of simple, but it can be a bit tricky. So let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're in uh, Maya 2019 and we're going to be creating a wire basket, right? Now, um, keep an open mind when it comes to modeling something like this, that the technique that we're using in this video can be used for so many things. Um, imagine maybe the grill for a car or maybe a wall vent or something like that, right? So just keep an open mind. All right, so we're going to start off with a polygon uh, cylinder. I'm just going to jump fuse here and we're going to go in, right click, go to vertex, drag select the bottom, let's hit W to move it down a bit and hold down X to let's say about here, drag the top, move that up a little bit and hit R to scale that out. So we're going to do the same down here until we have a shape that looks somewhat like the shape of a wastebasket, right? Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to do is we're going to go in and I'm going to right click and go to edge, double click on the bottom edge and go to edit mesh and bevel. Now we need to change that fraction a little bit. Let's try 0 0.2, maybe even 0 0.1. There you go. And then segment wise, let's go to three. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks okay. And then let's see on the top there, we have these faces going on. I don't really need that. So I'm going to right click and go to vertex, select that middle vertex, and I'm going to convert that vertex selection to a face selection. Now, in order to do that, you hold on control and you hit the F11 key. So the function key 11, F11, right? So you hit that, that changes the selection from vertex into face, and then we can hit delete. There you go. Okay, now before we get into our hatch pattern, I'm going to go into Internet Edge Loop, Option Box, a Single Setting, and we're going to go in here and I'm going to add an edge loop up here, one down here. And I'm going to add a few here for detail that I'm going to use later. So we're just going to put that in and we'll worry about that later, but just so we have that while we're at it, right? And we'll go down here and we'll do the same. So I'll put one here, one here, one here, and one there. Okay. All right, so now that we have that, let's worry about that pattern that we were talking about. So I'm gonna jump into this view right here, and we're gonna go into uh, into edge loop again, option box, multiple this time. It's set to 10, and we're gonna add 10 right there. All right now you want to make sure that this, uh, the way you divide this up that it uh, doesn't look too stretched or whatnot so these are not perfect squares but it looks okay right and now that we have this we have a bit of a problem and that is that the um, edge set up the way it's set now the horizontal and the vertical the horizontal and the vertical ones we need to remember those okay so i'm going to right click the edge and i'm going to drag select this entire selection right there Come on, edge mode, please. There we go, yeah. So I need to get out, of, yeah, there you go. All right, so we have that selected. Now what I need to do is I need to go up to uh, create. We're gonna go to sets and quick select set. What I'm basically telling Maya to do is to remember this selection and we'll call this hatch. Okay guys, well it's time for a little sponsor break here. And without them, I can make any of these videos for you guys. So show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. 
All right? Let's click OK. So that's now in its memory. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to face. And then we're going to drag select all of the faces in the top and bottom there. So just those, right? With these faces selected, we're going to go up to uh, Edit Mesh and under Face to Poke. And once we do that, we get that cross hatch pattern. Now the thing is, I want these crosses, but I don't want the vertical and horizontal uh, edges here. Now that's where that selection comes in that we just uh, created. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, Select. We're going to go to Quick Select Sets, and we're going to click on Hatch, what we just created. It will now select those vertical and horizontal lines that we saved in memory, and we're going to go in and hit delete. So now suddenly all you have left is this setup here, right? Which is exactly what we want. Now, the next thing is we're going to right click go to face, and we're going to drag select all of these faces here. And you can do so many things right now. You can uh, take those edges and maybe uh, extrude them. You can do all sorts of things. Now, before we move further, actually, let's just uh, select this and go to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. All right? Okay, right-click Face. We've got that selection. And I'm going to go up to, uh, not up to, I'm going to go to hit Control e to extrude that. Now, Control e to extrude, I want to make sure that Keep Faces Together is turned off. Very important, right? And then from there, I need to decide on the offset. So let's try 0 0.06. Okay, let's have a look. And there you go. You can see that all of that is in place right there, right? And let's go in. Oops, don't delete my 0 0.06. So we got that. We're going to go in there, right? And then I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to hit a delete. So that will delete all of those. And that's exactly what we want, right? So now you have a basket with a uh, crosshatch pattern. Now, uh, right now you can see through this and you can see the inside. Before I move further, if you decide you want to smooth this guy out, if I'll show you a preview and you hit three, you'll see that your uh, squares become circles and you'll get this pattern, right? So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hit one to go back. So there you go guys, there's our wire basket. Now, uh, of course right now you're seeing black on the inside because that's the inside of the faces. If you uh, don't want that, you can just take the whole thing and extrude that, right? So that's basically all there's to it. Uh, I'll put a little uh, material on it and key shot so you can see what the finished thing looks like, but uh, there you go. So uh, again, keep an open mind how you can use all this. I'll add a little detail up here in these faces uh, just for the heck of it, why not? We'll uh, click and double click and click and double click and do one right here. Let's hit the control E to extrude. 0.05 maybe, which looks fine. And then you can do the same down here if you like, right? So you can go in, let's take uh, this one and that one. Control E, 0.05, there you go. Now what I'll do is I'll do two versions. I'll do one like this and one smooth. I'll put them side by side in key shot so you guys can decide what looks best, right? Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.